play pinball. Hi guys, uh, I'm starting the new week uh, with a new tutorial uh, before I jump onto client projects and um, I prepared a really really cool tutorial for you guys so uh, uh, this tutorial is about uh, how to tear cloth in Cinema 4D uh, but uh, with a really cool and quality mesh so I um, hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, because uh, I'm sure that you see a lot of uh, cloth tutorials uh, but when they tear uh, the cloth uh, stays like crap so I'm going to teach you how to do this professionally and with, with a really really high quality mesh so let's get on to the tutorial okay guys uh, here we are so um, uh, for this tutorial of uh, cloth uh, tear um, it's really easy and uh, I wanted to share this uh, tutorial with you guys uh, so this is the scene file that I'll leave on the, um, the link description for you guys to download and uh, for you guys to follow along the tutorial easily and uh, this is it so um, first thing we're going to do we're going to hide this flag and we're going to hide um, our cloth nerves and uh, let's get ready to start so um, let's put up a plane and let's put this guy on a minus X and let's make this a uh, kind of type of flag so um, for the this tutorial purposes uh, should be cool so I'm not going to increase a lot of flag uh, because I don't want to rack up uh, like uh, recording and um, the render times uh, because uh, cloth nerves um, asks a lot of your render times for your computer and a lot of RAM and uh, I don't want to I want to do this to be fluid so uh, okay uh, we have our plane and uh, we're ready to start so what you're going to do now you're going to put uh, in, in, on the width segments and the height segments you're going to put it for one and uh, and we we go into add the geometry uh, with uh, with the hypernerves. So what you have to do is to edit the object, uh, the plane on C, and let's make the the plane a child of hypernerves. And if you see here, uh, you see that your mesh is uh, a little bit strange, but uh, it's cool. Uh, now we can start adding the um, the details and geometry on this. We're going to our edit mode. We're going to put our plane, and we're going to right click. Uh, choose our knife and start to adding some geometry on this on this pla plane. Uh, it should be cool. So if you see now on the perspective view, you click on the hypernerves, you see that you're already getting detail on it. You're already getting polygons on it. So uh, we're ready to we're ready and good to to continue. So uh, let's go to our right view again and hit the plane mode. Right click knife and let's start to add where we want to do this uh, uh, this plane to, to tear so um, I'm going to choose uh, like the first part like in the, the front of the flag to tear up so um, I, don't, I, I don't want to increase like how can I say a lot of polygons on this uh, because I don't want to slow, t uh, slow down the, the recording and, uh, and the fluid of the, the tutorial and as you see already you have um, how can I say like a better detail in mesh a lot better and um, how can I say like roundy that you had uh, if you if you increase already the the how can I say the width and the height segments of over, over the plane so this is the best way to do it um, you're going to to put one segment uh, on the plane and then you're going to add the geometry on the hypernerves that's the best way to to do this so um, I advise you to do that so um, we already have our plane we have our hypernerves working. What we need to do is uh, to make this a cloth and uh, make this wave and then tear apart. So let's keep on going. Okay, let's add the um, simulation tag, cloth tag. And if you hit play, it, yeah, you see that your flag is already falling down, it's already with dynamics, everything is going good. So you're going to your point mode, you're going to choose a plane, and you're going here on the right position again you're going to hit your life selection tool and on the cloth tag you're going to the dresser and uh, you have like fixed points that's where we're going to grab um, our flag like a false grab onto the to the pole so let's choose our polygons and hit set so if you hit set and you hit play you see that um, that the cloth is already tagged on the um, on the pole so everything is running good so um, 
the only thing that we could need here is uh, how can I say it's more detail but um, we're going to add more detail uh, like this so you're going to right click you're going to make a current state to object and you have you have another mesh here and you're going to grab this mesh and you're going to put on a child of this hypernerves and now you can do you can take this off and if you see the hypernerves are really 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 getting detail on this so um, this should be a, a lot more slower and uh, we, we already like uh, lose the text that we put it here and we're going to do that again so um, go to your right point, uh, right point view uh, hit your point mode and you go into your tag just select them in here uh, this should be cool and let's fix this point if you see this color here and it's already working it's already tagged but uh, now it should be like uh, getting more slowly uh, that's why I didn't increase the, a lot um, the polygons on the, on the first uh, hypernerves so um, we, we're ready and we we're going to hit this tutorial for good so um, first part is already done and now what you need to do is just uh, add some tear and uh, just make um, how can I say just adjustments on, on this uh, forces so I'm going to decrease this a little bit just for force something about three that should be good and then we have to see my direction the direction I have to put a little bit on like three on the on the x direction and on the z direction I also have to put like a little bit more so that the wave of the flag like goes from your right side so uh, I'm going to increase a little bit the turbulence strength also and I'm going to leave the turbulence speed like this so it should be have like a a cool wave now it's like it's like I said I didn't want to increase the, the polygons because of the animation uh, renders and the, the animation um, the animation can stay like uh, a lot uh, like whoa what is happening here uh, I forgot to, to hide this it's okay now yeah if you see that your I can say your flag it's it's really high detail you don't see like uh, any piece of cut um, uh, or like uh, on other tutorials on other scenes um, this uh, this way to, to produce like cloth uh, adding detail on the hypernerves is the, I think is the best way to do it so uh, so that that's it so uh, we have our our flag already like waving a little bit we can add a little bit more strength in the Z direction and the wind strength and if we hit play now you see that we already have some waving it's a little bit slow but yeah it's we already have the waving on it and, and as you see here this is a perfect detail guy uh, you can ha also have like how uh, can I say you can also have a texture in here and see that works okay Ugh. this texture is ugly I will choose a nice one for you guys uh, okay let's put a metal it's the same metal of the pole but it should be you should see like a, a little bit of it as as you see you don't see like any piece of cut here uh, it's working perfectly so what we only need to do now is um, what uh, what we're going to do the point of this tutorial is a tear thing so we're going to you go into the tech and you're going to choose uh, use tear so I'm going to animate this and I'm going to tear this baby about 15 so um, I'm going to pull down to the 15 keyframe and I'm going to put use there I'm going to put this like 160 should be good and I'm going to add a key uh, control click and here and I'm, I'm going to move one uh, one behind and I'm going to put this without using the tear so if you see now I'm going to have to increase this decrease this a little bit more I'm going to put this a little bit like this and increase the Z direction and the wind strength I think it's too low uh, let me check it out how's it going now yeah the waving is a lot better now and uh, the tear also should be working so when you get the 15 
we, we should have the tears. So um, uh, the thing that we are running into here, uh, it's uh, that I forget, forgot one thing. Um, to use the, the cloth, uh, the cloth tag and the cloth uh, wisely and good, we have to add the, the cloth nerves. So we're going to put this cloth nerves and the plane child of cloth nerves and the cloth nerves a child of hyper nerves. Like, uh, like this, uh, you can always increase this a lot and you increase these subdivisions, but all depends on, the, on your machine. Be carefully, uh, because otherwise you're going to like crash the computer or wait like for hours on this. And if you hit a play now, um, our flag and our tear uh, should be really working cool now. So uh, let's, let's see when it gets 15. What the tear is up? That's it, we got the tear. And if you hit render, you see that your flag is totally perfect. And also depends on the, how can I say, this also depends on the, um, uh, on, the on the polygons that you made, on the cuts that you made, uh, on the position of the tear that you made, like, uh, or more cuts you made on the on one position, more more rips it was going to is going to have so um it's i think it's a really cool tutorial to to learn and um i just wanted to pass like this uh, these points like the uh to add geometry to a perfect flag uh, you have to it's like that you have to to work it uh, first without polygons on a plane and then you're gonna have the geometry like adding cuts with the hypernerves and all that and then then you can then you can make like a perfect thing like like tearing so um hope you enjoyed the tutorial hope you follow along uh, more tutorials here at fx china house and um uh, more is going to come up soon so uh I'm now ready to, to start my client projects and uh, hope you enjoy this. So uh, keep that thumbs up and uh, see you guys. Bye. Let's play pinball.